Hi everyone and welcome back to a project that we started a few, uh, about a month ago when my sister was here. Uh, if you recall, it got really rainy and we were really, I'll say overwhelmed and exasperated by the fact that when we were driving in some posts like that, so the T-posts for this fence, the new expanded larger goat pen, uh, we were just hitting some walls. Uh, and by walls, I mean rock. It's hard to drive a T-post into rock. So today I have borrowed my neighbor's tractor and I'm gonna use an auger and we're gonna just dig as best we can and see if we can't uh, get around that rock, dig it up, figure out what's going on down in the ground uh, and put some bigger holes in, which we will then fill in with cement and whatever came out of the hole and uh, get this fence actually put in place. Might be a multi-day project specifically because we have cement that has to dry, but uh, we're gonna do as much as we can tonight and our first test is gonna be, does this bit get through whatever that hard substance is and my sneaking suspicion is yes, we're gonna make a hole. So let's see what we can do. So this is what we're dealing with. That is some serious solid rock. After all that, we've only gotten down, honestly, a few inches into the surface. Um, that stuff that's piled up on the side is just solid chunks wow. of rock. We're not talking about clay, which is kind of why we're having issues with the T-post driver. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to keep going with the auger and see what we can do. And this is real rock. It's not like that rock that you could just break apart easily. Yeah, interesting. Well, that's fun. Yeah. So, after all that, we're still only less than a foot down. And so we're gonna try to use force. Cause when in doubt, kids, use force, right? We learned that from world politics and farming, apparently. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna uh, try to shove this thing between these giant rocks and see what happens. Without hitting the tractor. Man, oh man, this is some serious. Nathan, grab that camera. Let's show them what this rock in here looks like. You see right here? This is a giant rock. That's a pretty good slab. And then over here, there's another one. Right there. I can kind of break some off it. What I'm trying to do is get under it so you can then uh, uh, break it up. We'll see if we can do this or not. If I can't get this in there, I sure as heck can't get a T-post in there. And now it makes sense why the T-post driver wasn't doing its job. I wonder if I've created a shelf big enough for the blade to get under it. No one ever said homesteading is easy. In fact, most people wouldn't think so. But let me tell you just how easy this has been. Um, not, <laughs> not so much at all. Uh, this is like digging through stone, cause it is. It's like, it's layered slate. It's going at the wrong angle for the uh, drill bit to catch and help dig up. Uh, it is breaking up. So, I mean, you can see all these pieces of stone. Uh, we're, you know, digging up plenty of these chunks of stone uh, but my vision of I'm just gonna use the auger I'm gonna um, you know get it dug out and put the cemented posts in tonight and do the fencing tomorrow probably gonna take a little more time than that a little more research we're gonna look at maybe uh, renting a jackhammer or something that we could just break stuff up uh, I might be able to use my post hole digger and use this uh, I guess what it is that old drill bit for breaking through stone found it in the barn maybe there was a reason for that. It was a clue to what was to come. Uh, I tried to use it by hand and did break up some of the stuff. So maybe if we mechanize it, we might have some luck. But that'll probably be a try, uh, uh, something to try tomorrow. But we'll keep you posted on the progress of this lovely project that seemed so easy weeks and weeks ago and is now uh, kind of becoming my Moby Dick. I'm gonna chase it down like the great white whale, beat it into submission. Or I think that's how the story went. I'll get back to you on that.
I gotta finish it still. Exhibit A, deer netting. Perfect for chickens, just remember that. We're gonna use a seven by 100 foot of uh, netting and throw it over the chicken run. Perfect for uh, keeping away aerial predators. It's a three quarter inch mesh. Well, there you have it. We have a net now on top of our chicken run. Now, as we sit here and we look at it, we're thinking we may have just set a wonderful hawk trap rather than a, uh, a chicken preservation trap. This netting is so fine, uh, I'm not entirely sure it's going to prevent aerial predators. Uh, it might end up catching them, <laughs> we'll find out. Um, so we may end up having to lay something over it or paint on it or something so that there's some kind of uh, very clear demonstration that something is there from the air because it is pretty fine very small squares and very fine netting maybe we're just too smart for our own good uh, but we'll find out and we will keep you posted as we go through this little adventure uh, Nathan and his grandpa and I are we are going to continue to cut these last zip ties off uh, as you can see these things here are just lovely to pull on and chew on so the goat side is done first and uh, then we'll proceed to the outside to get out cleaned up. But yeah, so that's a nice little chicken run we got going uh, here in the chicken lot. Buck, buck. Well, today we are going to tag Rapunzel. Maybe Josh. Maybe. Josh brought this awesome tool over so we could finally get our big cow that was kind of uncooperative last time. Uh, and this is an ear tagger. And uh, it sound, that is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, takes one of these tags and puts it into the cow's ear. These tags are kind of fly repellents. Uh, just kind of keeps them a little more comfortable. We got flies that like to just chew on the cows and make them all itchy and stuff. So uh, essentially what's going to happen is we're going to take these three things and we're going to do something fun with it. We're going to take the tag um, and that's going to go actually right through the cow's ear. So you kind of load it in like so. You take the actual tag itself and load it in. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting coached on this. This is the, my first time ever doing it. Like that. And it looks like a little wavy thing. Now I'm gonna, in theory, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna go with the cows. They're nicely put in their uh, grain room. We're gonna let out the babies. And then we're gonna put Rapunzel into a chute. Now the chute does not have a head stall, so we're gonna kind of use some four by four and uh, just kind of get her stuck in place. If we can, if we're successful, uh, will be successful. This tag will be stuffed th thoroughly into her ear. No. <laughs> we're going to try to get it as up as possible, but really we're just hoping to get it in there some way, somehow. And uh, when, when we squeeze this, that punches through the ear, uh, the back of the ear. Um, what was the term you said? The, the butt? Yeah. Butt toward the butt. The button towards the butt. So that goes on the butt side of the ear, and then this will kind of flap around on the outside, and uh, it'll release its little anti- uh, fly wave. So we just kind of punch that through the ear into the tag and it's gold. And then now do your viewers know about her ear and what the what the challenges are because of her true. ear? true. Okay, so obviously uh, you guys have probably heard, maybe you don't, I don't know, maybe it's not obvious. <laughs> this cow has had some ear issues in life. Uh, she had a puppy, I guess, chew on her ear when she was just like really tiny. Uh, so she only has half an ear on the left side. So her right ear is mostly intact. Except we uh, may or may not have had an issue with this the last, the time. last tagging. <laughs> and she so didn't like she it. didn't like it. It kind of went in halfway and she said, uh uh. So um, she knows what's coming. So wrestling her into ear submission is going to be interesting. Um, I might have to just have him like grab her and wrestle her to the ground. Nah, I wouldn't. You know, it won't that. come to that. <laughs> <laughs> but we got Todd uh, and, and Josh here with us today. We're super happy to have them and they're awesome help and tools. All right, let's take a, let's take a cow. Let's, let's do, do this! this. <laughs> 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 
That was nuts. Alright, go. Good girl. Well, it was a success. Success. Yes. Great success. We got an ear, a half-eared cow tagged. That was fantastic. So <laughs> the way these work is if you see here, right, get that right out of there. there. If you go. see, that's gonna gauge the cow's ear. So once you take that off, the cow's gonna have a hole in its ear. So once these are put in, the cow doesn't have feeling there anymore. So there'll be a hole there. Now they only last a couple months. So to take it out, all you do is take this fancy little tool and you put it between the button and the cow's ear and you just pull, cuts, right off. cuts the back off and then you just pull it right out. So will I have to use this next time? Yes. So you use this every time you just don't punch every a new time. hole? Every time. You just put you it through the same hole. You don't punch a new hole. hole. You put it through the same hole, which on a cow like Rapunzel is gonna be tricky because she doesn't like to hold her head still. Right. So trying to get it in that hole it's a little bit tricky, but I think mm. once she learns, because she's not going to have that feeling anymore, so once she learns what it does, I think she'll be all right. All right. Well, we will keep you posted on that. That's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for your help. Todd's not in the picture, but he's right here in our spirit, in our hearts. <laughs> Yay! Here oh, I'm goes. still here. <laughs> well, David has certainly been hard at work the past couple of days, and it's been really great of him to take the camera along, because I have been crazy busy with these people doing homeschooling. Like I said, it has been our first couple weeks here of homeschooling, which means that we're getting our groove in, which means we also have to figure out kind of where YouTube fits into our schedule. So kind of bear with us as our videos might be a little more sporadic. Trying really, really hard, guys. It's just, it's another thing to just work out time-wise. We're getting there. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. As always, this is your country nerd with a goat herd, and now an ear tagged, fully ear tagged herd of cows. Woohoo! Saying that you can grow where you're planted. planted.